for Caleb Martin specifically, I think he's going to be like what a lot of people think Kelly Oubre is to an extent. That he is that dog. He is that guy that's going to get under people's skin. He is going to be competitive. And I think he's just kind of a, a more well-rounded, better overall basketball player than Kelly Oubre there. It's also interesting when kind of comparing their shooting splits. Like I mentioned that Oubre was a guy that at the top of my list for needing to be a better three-point shooter. Martin is that he's a 35.7% three-point shooter for his career. It was 34.9% last year. He did shoot over 40% in one season with the Heat, his first season there. I He comes way more streaky with it. When you look at kind of the splits of it, is there will be like a two-week period where this guy is shooting 50% plus from three, and then there will also be those down periods. So he certainly falls in that like streaky shooter type category there. I don't think the Sixers need him to be all of that. But I think for me personally, I'm looking at him to be their top perimeter defender. That's probably my number one hope for Caleb Martin. Be the guy that's ready to get under skin, compete with all these opposing wings. As much as like I hope that Paul Jordan can overall step up into that, if this ends up on Caleb Martin's plate. I have no issue with that. And I think, honestly, he's going to be very capable of handling that business. This was my my favorite signing this offseason. He rocks. Well, yeah. yeah I, I feel like you nailed it. Like I feel like he's going to be Kelly Oubre plus – yeah, um, he's a really good athlete. Not as good of an athlete as Kelly Oubre, um, but really good going downhill. And I think he's a great fit with Tyrese Maxey. I think he's an underrated ball handler, a switchable defender like Oubre, who I don't think will get overwhelmed defending the one through four spots. When it comes to improvements, know your role. Like, yeah. I, I think he's not a creator, and that's okay. This is a team that has a lot of creators. I just want to see him be a very good spot up shooter. I want to see him be accurate from the perimeter, but also don't hesitate from the perimeter. Like we we are coming from uh, Tobias Harris and guys <laughs> like that, that will pump fake into oblivion. Do not hesitate. Yeah. Like I want him to just let it rip, man. That, that That's my expectation. I think he will too. And, and the other part that I'll note here, like, I think it was appealing to Caleb Martin to like join the structure of the Sixers. Like there were extents with that Miami Heat team where there just straight up was too much on his plate for who he is as a player. Like there were stretches here where he was legitimately like the second option on the team because of injuries or because of Jimmy Butler nonsense or whatever the case may be. Tyler Hero in and out of things. It was there was a lot on Caleb Martin's plate in a way that I don't think was best for him as a basketball player. And I think it's going to be helpful to him for ha to have the Tyrese Maxey's and Paul George, Joel Embiid's rely on like there's a clear framework of this team and i'll also say that i did have a chance to speak with him for a couple minutes out in vegas the dude's cool man like he spoke very openly like i've always loved coming and playing in philly i'm very excited to, to be, be there like he was like really cool with things and i was like this dude just gets it straight up so i think he's gonna fit in